boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called Love Z by Jesse Sema. On a bright, chilly day, Z went out looking for adventure and stumbled upon a piece of half-buried treasure. Inside was a message too smudgy to read, except for two words at the very bottom. Love, Beatrice. The young robot did not know what love meant or who Beatrice was, but they felt very important. So Z tucked the treasure away and headed toward home. As night fell, all the robots prepared to power down and recharge for the next day. Z asked for a bedtime story, and a nightlight, and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed, Z's thoughts drifted back to the important treasure. What is love? asked the young robot. Does not compute, replied the old rusty robots. Then they said, sweet dreams, and turned out the lights. Alone in the dark, Z could not sleep. The other robots had always been able to answer Z's questions. If they did not know what love meant, who would? Maybe there was one person. In the morning, Z went out looking for Beatrice. Hello, I am looking for Beatrice, explained Z. I want to know what love is, and she will have the answer. That sounds important, said the captain. Climb aboard and we'll go on a quest. So they did. Unsure of how to start a quest, Z asked around. Excuse me, are you Beatrice? Are you Beatrice? Hello, are you Beatrice? No, said a voice. What's a Beatrice? We are on a quest to find out what love is, explained Z, and Beatrice will have the answer. I don't know any Beatrice, said the crow, but to me, love is sharing your food, even when it's delicious. That did not compute, but Z thanked the crow anyway and changed course toward a place with delicious food. The baker did not know Beatrice either, but she was happy to share what love meant to her. Love is when someone patient and takes the time to teach you new things. That did not compute, but Z thanked the baker anyway and changed course toward a place with teachers. The kids at recess had a lot of thoughts about what love meant. Love is butterflies. Love is sweaters. Love is wishing on a star. Love is lawn gnomes. Love is a million puppies. Love is snowflakes on my tongue. Absolutely none of them computed, but Z thanked the students anyway and had no idea what to go in search of. What if they never found Beatrice? What if love was something a robot just could not compute? Z was about to suggest that they change course toward home when they stumbled upon a good place to spend the night. Hello, we are on a quest. Oh, never mind. Hello, I'm Beatrice, said the woman. Z could not believe their luck. What were you doing out there in the cold? asked Beatrice. Looking for you, explained Z. 
I want to know what love is, and I thought you might have the answer. Beatrice paused to think. She thought and thought and thought some more. Love is difficult to explain. It's warm and cozy and safe. You'll know it when you feel it. Z hoped she was right. It's getting late, said Beatrice. Let's get some rest. The young robot was preparing to power down and recharge for the next day. When the old rusty robots arrived unannounced. Z, you were gone. We were worried. But we found you. We brought you your favorite bedtime story and your nightlight and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed, Z felt warm and cozy and safe. It was a feeling the young robot had felt many times before. But now it had a name. Love, Z. The end. Hope you enjoyed that.